Blue Teapot was set up in 1996 within the Brothers Charity in Galway and it started as a community project uh, to give people with intellectual disabilities a kind of creative platform and a place to explore themselves as creative people. And since then it has grown into a fully professional theatre company, a performing arts school and an outreach project, Bright Song. So Blue Teapot today has nine actors that form an ensemble, which is a rare thing in uh, any country nowadays, uh, and is kind of part of the magic of the company. And uh, each of the actors has an intellectual disability of a different nature. And as a team of people, we like to uh, explore and create together. And uh, in the process of that, to have a really good time, meet new people <laughs> and uh, explore different life themes and, uh, uh, and yeah, basically have a good laugh. So this year we, uh, we have a lovely director called Scott Williams who I met uh, a while ago in London, he hails from San Francisco and he's coming to work with the actors on this year's production for Gory Arts Festival and uh, he has a wonderful way with the actors, likes to play, uh, is very spontaneous and is an integral part of the show. Blue, green, you, you, yeah. black, you, purple, orange, navy. Yellow. Blue. Yeah. Gold. Red. And uh, the guys also expressed a desire, I think after the experience of, Sh of Sanctuary and also working on A Midsummer Night's Dream, where they really, for the first time, got stuck into language and the written word. Uh, so they've been doing creative writing workshops recently um, because a lot of them have expressed that they would like to write and to write plays themselves. So Eileen Gibbons has been uh, facilitating that process. And follow him. What's going on and where is this place? Father he asked as they ran. I have no idea, said Michael. And more importantly, he said, How on earth did Patrick get here? What happened that brought him to this place? And there is the end as far as we got last week. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Yeah. 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 Hilary Kavner has been doing a lot of stage skills, so just kind of polishing polishing the actors up on their stage skills and their understanding of the hierarchy of theatre and how every aspect of that works. Okay, here's one. that we faced, I think, in the development of the professional company was that um, a lot of people misunderstood a lack of training for the disability um, and that's not the case, it's one of the reasons we started the Performing Arts School and we bring in top, top theatre professionals to work with the actors and give them every piece of uh, equipment that they would need to be the best that they could be, as any other actor who may attend RADA or any other drama school. So um, I think in the last couple of years, the audiences that have been exposed to Blue Teapot in terms of theatre have had their entire perspective of inter not only intellectual disability, but um, the, the right of, of somebody with ID to be an actor, to be a working professional creative. I act because um, I like to perform in front of the public and uh, I've got used to acting now and uh, when it's showtime and uh, you could be a little bit nervous when you come on but you get used to when you, when you come on and you're into character then and all that. Because it makes the, the audience feel happy and in between they can, they can clap as well, what, what, what we, we are doing like. I act because I think it's a nice thing to do. I act because I'm a good actress and that makes me feel happy.
I love acting because it reminds me of when I was a child and I always act a lot. Um, I wish I could be more good at anything I want to be. I'm older. And now here I am. Yeah, I enjoyed my acting. Uh, it was uh, ver very good uh, acting. And uh, it is so much uh, fun uh, for the audience uh, and it makes uh, the audience are very happy. And uh, if we try to do our best, uh, if we could, uh, that will uh, make the uh, audience uh, really fun and uh, comfortable. I like when you're acting because it's so amazing. It gives you that extra burst, extra, extra feeling, knowing that, you're, knowing that you're acting on stage, playing different roles with different characters. It just makes you feel so alive. It's like you're, when you're in the character, it's like you're just a character and not yourself. And when you're off stage, you're just you again. You get to, get to, uh, get to relax, unwind, and prepare for when the next part, next when you get to, get to play the next a character, the next role. It's a great feeling to have. It's just so amazing. I enjoy acting. I love acting. I'm hoping to hopefully do some release. I'm, I'm hoping to do some serious acting in some stage. Hopefully in the near future, if, if, if I have time, you might get to see myself maybe on Canadian Street. You never know, because at the moment I'm, I, I enjoy it so much. I might just take up, I might, I might just, uh, I might go to college and maybe somewhere here in Galway, maybe classes here in Galway, and maybe just get a, um, maybe a drama major because I, I really love drama and acting and I want to do TV and film and comedy even so it's just amazing work so please all young, all young people all young hopes out there if you want to act you have to just be yourself relax and be able to do it and have the courage to do it I like acting because it's my favorite thing to do. Michael, do you want to go dance? Sorry, Paul. Uh, so <laughs> <You're a> <laughs> my head's in the clouds. He's on the cloud My next one is I wish I could be an actor on television. Uh.